Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to see how I go from this eyebrow to a nice full looking brow, then just keep on watching. But first, let me start off by saying that just because I do my eyebrows one way, that does not mean that it's the only and the correct way. But if you guys are interested in how I draw them in and get my shape, then just keep on watching. So this is how my eyebrows look without any product on. As you can see, I have light sparse brows. This is also not my natural shape. I have round, thin, almost clown-like brows, and I've changed the shape of them so many times before I settled on this. On the way, I draw them in now, but they still change from day to day. You could go ahead and use whatever product you like, but the one I personally like is the Milani Brow Pomade in Dark Brown, and I just like it because it stays on in the sparse areas of my brows, and it is water resistant. So if you have no shape to your brows, I will show you how to get one. Just get a pencil, any pencil liner would work, and go next to your nose and make a mark. Next thing you're going to want to do is angle it and um, make another mark, bring it down to the side of your eye and make another mark. These marks will just represent where your eyebrow will begin, where your arch should be, and where your eyebrow should end. So to avoid my product drying out on me, what I like to do is take a little bit of product behind my hand and then just go in and work from there. I'm going to dip my brush in the product and try to remove as much excess product as I can and then brush my eyebrows out. So the first thing I do is I outline the bottom of it, of my brow. I kind of like more of a straight line as opposed to just a higher arch. So what I do is I go in, I start like about a third in from my eyebrow and just leave the first third part without any part and then create the line I want. Um, you could go in a little bit more straighter, a little bit more arched, it just depends on you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down to the corner of my eye to extend my brow. To avoid any bumps on my eyebrows, I like to... Um, just brush them out with the spoolie throughout my whole process and that way it will just create more of a smoother, um, more smoother eyebrows. So then I just like go back in and fill in a little bit more spots that have brushed away and then I fill in the top and what I do here is I go straight and then create a higher arch and you see where, um, you could just tell where I have the mark and my arch starts. That's like, you kind of want them to meet up and then you just want to connect the, the ending of the arch down to the bottom of the corner of your eye. Once I am done outlining my eyebrows, what I like to do next is go in and fill them in. I fill them in angled with the same brow pomade. I don't do um, a powder because I don't have any eyebrows, so there's really nothing for the powder to stick in. So I just go ahead and use the same brow pomade. So I like to apply most of the pressure and the product on the outer part of my eyebrow because that's where I have sparse to little um, or to no brows at all. So I just like to concentrate most of the darkness and the product on the outer corner and then I take a little bit um, of the product off of the brush and then I go ahead and start filling in the like the front part of my eyebrow and then I just fully and brush them out so the product could kind of blend in together. To avoid a boxed brow I apply less product at the beginning of it so what I do is I take off a whole lot of the product and then um, just apply it. I just make a line and connect all the lines together and then if I feel like if I got too much product or something or you know there's clumps I just go ahead and brush everything out and this will kind of give you like an ombre gradient effect like a more of a natural brow. So here I am just going and applying a little bit more product to the little gaps that I have in my eyebrows. That is another thing that I kind of like hate about them is um, they're really, besides them being really sparse, they have a lot of gaps towards the front. So I have to take a little bit more time and fill those gaps in and brush it out. So if I'm going for um, more of like a dramatic eye look or more dramatic brow, what I like to do is take a little bit of concealer and then just take it on a flat brush and go along the bottom of my eyebrow like you see here. And I just like to clean them up and this will give me more of like a sharper look. It'll also um, help hide the little hairs that I have growing in that um, that I haven't plucked out yet. So yeah, that's one trick. So the last thing I like to do is even though I don't have a full eyebrow, I still like to set them with some brow gel and it'll keep whatever hair I do have in place. So I just go in with this um, Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Mascara, I think it's called. And um, yeah, I'll just give them a quick coat of that and they will stay in place throughout the day. So that's the last step I have for you guys. Um, Just remember that your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. 
so don't worry if they don't come out even because mine never do um yeah don't forget to check the description box down below if you're interested in the products i have used today um thank you all so much for watching i'll talk to you guys soon bye guys